Number 11. Cold War Submarine Graveyard Russia's Kola Peninsula is home to a Soviet-era submarine graveyard that was largely forgotten about until recent years. The vessels rest near an active naval base in a restricted military zone near the Finnish border. They were dumped at the site during the 1970s when Soviet shipyards were struggling to keep up with demands for new warships. Properly disposing of the submarines wasn't really a priority, and because of this, many were simply left to decay while others were reportedly sunk while being used for target practice. In any event, the water became heavily polluted as oil and rust seeped into the water from the rotting ships. The authorities finally realized at some point that they needed to do something about the problem before it got even worse. At least one submarine was burned while others were dismantled, removed from the water, and recycled. Some were still in good enough condition to be used as training vessels, and one ended up on display at a museum. Satellite images showed that as of 2007, there were still seven ships sitting in the water, and they looked like they were beyond salvaging. Number 10. K-84 Yekaterinburg Built in the early 1980s, the K-84 nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine was considered one of the Soviet Union's most powerful underwater vessels. It carried 16 ballistic missiles, each of which contained four nuclear warheads. The 549-foot-long submarine operated until 2011 when it caught fire on a dry dock outside Murmansk. Firefighters combated the blaze for hours, knowing that if they didn't get it under control, its liquid-fueled missiles could catch fire and cause one of the worst nuclear disasters the world had ever seen. An explosion would have spewed radioactive material over the surrounding region, putting 300,000 people's lives at risk. But luckily, the flames never reached the fuel, and the blaze was finally extinguished when the submarine sank after burning for 20 long hours. Initially, Russian officials claimed that the missiles had been removed from the ship before the fire broke out, but it eventually came to light that the missiles were in fact on board, bringing the world perilously close to yet another massive nuclear mess that would have taken years to clean up and undoubtedly caused death and suffering among the local population. For a while, the K-84 simply sat while officials tried to figure out whether it was worth repairing. The decision was finally made to restore the massive sub to operational status, and in late 2014, it re-entered service. Number 9. UC-61 In late 2018, shifting sands along the northern French coast revealed the rusted remains of a World War I-era German submarine. Known as UC-61, the vehicle ran aground in 1917 near the seaside commune of Wissant. The crew deliberately flooded the vessel and abandoned it. Soon enough, it became buried in the sand. This wasn't the first time the submarine reappeared. Speaking with the BBC, local mayor Bernard Brack said that the wreck emerges every two or three years depending on the tides. It's never been visible for long before it's once again hidden beneath the seabed. But when it happened in 2018, more of the vessel was visible than ever before, according to local tour guide Vincent Schmidt, who hoped that the wind and tides would expose even more of the submarine. UC-61 is thought to have sunk at least 11 Allied ships before it crashed while en route from Belgium to France to lay mines. Number 8. USS Muscalunge The USS Muscalunge was an American Navy submarine that served from 1942 to 1968. It was used during World War II to attack Japanese convoys, including passenger freighters and cargo ships, according to the U.S. military's Naval History and Heritage Command, NHHC. For several years, it was under the command of the Brazilian Navy as the Humita. After several decades of service, it returned to the U.S. and was sunk during a live-fire training exercise off the shore of Long Island in New York. A torpedo ripped it in two, and both sections quickly sank to the bottom of the Atlantic. Parts of the vehicle imploded as it plunged to high-pressure depths that it wasn't designed to withstand. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, described the submarine as being crushed like a soda can by the time it hit the sea floor. Late last year, the agency released footage of its discovery of the wreck. After being notified of the possible location of the wreck site, a team investigated by sending a remote underwater robot 2,000 feet below the surface. The Muscalunge still has identifiable features even after its violent plummet to the sea bottom, with the white letters S-14 identifying it as a former Brazilian Navy vessel. It was discovered as part of a project that aimed to test remotely operated vehicles at various depths. There are an estimated 3 million shipwrecks scattered throughout the world's waterways. This was the first time scientists got the opportunity to visit the Muscalunge, and there are countless others waiting to be seen up close. Would you like to dive down to see an abandoned shipwreck or submarine? Let us know in the comments and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 7. USS Ling 
The USS Ling was a high-speed U.S. Navy submarine that was commissioned in 1945 for use against German U-boats. But by then, World War II was nearly over. The vessel never saw battle and was decommissioned in 1946. In 1960, it was transported from Panama to the Brooklyn Navy Yard, where it was converted into a training ship. During the early 1970s, the USS Ling was relocated outside the New Jersey Naval Museum. It was significantly damaged in 2012 during Superstorm Sandy when the walkway leading to the submarine was swept away. Today, the vessel sits along a muddy riverbank, surrounded by overgrowth and garbage. It's listing to one side because there's not enough water for it to properly stay afloat, and its hull is covered in rust and gaping holes. Activists have campaigned to save the USS Ling, but the money to do it just wasn't there. The vessel was further destroyed in 2018 when five suspects stole valuable artifacts and flooded it with 10 feet of water, causing hundreds of dollars worth of damage. Number 6. Submarine Explorer The Submarine Explorer is one of the oldest known submersibles in existence. It is laid in the intertidal zone of Isla San Temlo and Panama's Pearl Islands ever since it was abandoned in 1869. German inventor Julius H. Kroll and an American named Ariel Patterson built the 36-foot-long ship between 1863 and 1865. It had enough room for a crew of six and relied on candlelight. As archaic as it sounds, the Explorer was highly advanced for its time. It was the first submarine that was capable of descending more than 100 feet below the water's surface. But the U.S. Navy wasn't interested in buying it, so it spent its career scouring the ocean floor for pearls in Panama Bay. Soon enough, unforeseen problems arose. The explorer's designers didn't understand that the effects of decompression, which happens when someone rises to the water's surface, can be fatal to the human body. Crew members began suffering from an illness commonly known as Cassian disease, or the bends, after resurfacing too quickly from long dives. Between this and the overfishing of pearl beds and Panamanian waters, it wasn't worth it to continue using the submarine. Archaeologist James P. Delgado discovered what's left of the explorer in 2000 while vacationing in the area. He had heard that there was a Japanese two-man midget submarine wreck that was only visible at low tide, but he set the record straight by tracing its real identity and history. Number 5. German Submarine U-534 From 1942 to 1945, the German Navy used a long-range submarine called the Type 9 C-40 U-534. It was primarily used for testing weapons and also functioned as a weather ship in the North Atlantic. The vessel returned to Germany in 1944 and was laid up in the port city of Kiel. By the time the Germans surrendered to the Allies on May 4, 1945, the submarine had left the port. A British Royal Air Force bomber sank it the next day near the Danish island of Anhalt. All 52 people on board initially escaped. 49 of them survived and were rescued. Two men drowned while awaiting rescue and another drowned while trying to reach the water's surface. The wreck's whereabouts were a mystery for a long time as experts tried to figure out where the submarine was headed when it was shot down. They were especially intrigued by the timing since it left port right around the time the Germans surrendered. Danish wreck diver Ega Jensen discovered the sunken vessel in 1986 amid rumors that there was Nazi treasure aboard. None was found when the ship was raised. Despite the wreck's historic value, it didn't help to solve the mystery of where U-534 was going. There was an Argentinian woman on board suggesting that perhaps it was bound for South America. Only the captain knew the exact destination and he took the secret to his grave. Number 4. Sunken Soviet Nuclear Submarines In late 2020, Russian President Vladimir Putin approved an initiative to raise two Soviet nuclear submarine wrecks from the bottom of the Arctic Ocean, which would reduce its radioactive pollution levels by as much as 90%. The first vessel slated for cleanup is the K-159, which sits on the floor of the Barents Sea outside Murmansk. It was already dilapidated by the time it sank in 2003 while being towed to a dismantling base. The sub was being kept afloat by pontoons when its tow rope snapped. Nine sailors drowned as it plunged 807 feet to its watery grave. As of 2015, there were no detectable nuclear leaks coming from the submarine, but there's still cause for concern as the vessel deteriorates, leading to repeated calls for the wreck's removal from the water. The submarine will eventually start to leak dangerous amounts of radiation into the water if nothing is done, and many officials are wisely urging for a cleanup sooner rather than later. The K-159 is just one of several nuclear submarines that put the world's waters at risk of dangerous radioactive pollution. In 1982, a 360-foot-long vessel called the K-27 was deliberately scuttled off the Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the country's northern region. Its experimental liquid metal-cooled reactors had caused problems from the beginning. Shortly after its launch in 1962, one of the reactors exploded, fatally exposing nine sailors to high levels of radiation. The Navy filled the faulty reactor with cement and rammed a tugboat into the sub, causing it to sink 108 feet to the sea floor. 
Just like the K159, the K27 will deteriorate and cause unavoidable damage to the environment if it's not removed from the water before it starts to leak. Number 3. HMNB Devonport Just outside Plymouth, England, there's a deserted military submarine graveyard known as HMNB Devonport. Nicknamed the Guz, it's home to a fleet of 13 decaying submarines that were once part of a sophisticated nuclear fleet that served in the British Royal Navy's Cold War defense system. Some of the vessels were decommissioned as far back as the 1990s. As of late 2019, four had their nuclear rods removed, while nine of the subs still contained radioactive material. By then, all of the ships had been defueled. The British Ministry of Defense has reassured the public that they're not at risk of exposure to harmful materials from the submarines despite numerous reported instances of nuclear waste leaks over the years. The ships are the focus of a multi-million dollar initiative called the Submarine Dismantling Project that began in 2016 and aims to safely dispose of the vessels as soon as possible. Number 2. The USS Scorpion The Cold War never erupted into direct combat between the US and the Soviet Union, but both countries' militaries worked diligently to monitor the other in hopes of staying one step ahead amid rising tensions and ongoing fears of a nuclear attack. One way they did this was by conducting submarine surveillance and developing nuclear submarine warfare capabilities. One such nuclear-powered submarine was a Navy vessel called the USS Scorpion. It set off from Norfolk, Virginia in 1968 for a three-month deployment with a 99-man crew aboard. The vehicle was headed for the Mediterranean to conduct Soviet naval reconnaissance. A few months later, the Scorpion left Spain and headed back toward Norfolk. But it failed to arrive as scheduled, and the submarine's disappearance quickly escalated into a major military crisis. The Navy found the wreck off the Azores in October, five months after the Scorpion was scheduled to arrive back in the U.S. No official cause for the sinking was ever determined. 1968 was an eventful year when it came to the disappearance of submarines. In addition to the Scorpion, three other subs vanished under mysterious circumstances, including the Israeli INS Dakar, the French Minerve, and the Soviet submarine K-129. Some believe that the Scorpion's disappearance resulted from a violent U.S.-Soviet encounter, but other theories suggest that structural damage or an accidental explosion could have been responsible for the wreck. Number 1. Isle of May Submarine Graveyard On January 31, 1918, 270 people died in one of the worst British naval disasters of World War I. During a skirmish 20 miles off Scotland's east coast known as the Battle of the Isle of May, the two K-class submarines were destroyed and three were damaged due to collisions that all occurred within the British fleet. None of the deaths were caused by enemy forces. An officer was court-martialed, but the embarrassing details of the event didn't start to emerge until 60 years later, after the last survivor died. The large and heavy K-class submarines were stifling, difficult to maneuver, and too slow to keep up with surface vessels. Six out of the 18 ever built were lost in accidental collisions. None were lost in action to enemy hands. The facts surrounding the Isle of May disaster have emerged slowly in recent years. In 2002, a commemorative plaque was erected in the coastal village of Ansruther, but it contains no mention of death. The Submariners Association holds an annual commemorative service at the site of the two sunken vessels, which lie 164 feet below the surface and 328 feet apart from one another, and the wreck has finally been surveyed by divers. Thanks for watching. Which one of these abandoned submarines impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.